The second technique that I'll be learning is actually playing with exponential and then of course your lot. Okay, so we'll learn some differentiation over here. So it's a quick recap on what happens when you differentiate exponential and lot. Okay, of course a to the power of x. Okay, so if not too sure, the third one can feel free to come and consult me. Okay, but for this video, we'll, we'll be just focusing on your exponential and your lot. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run through over here. Okay, so we have differentiate ex okay will essentially give me ex okay so differentiate of efx okay, is equal to efx times f prime x okay from here what we're going to learn is how to integrate so integrate of f prime x e to the power fx dx will give me efx plus c okay this will be the exponential Okay, for differentiation, differentiate of ln x will give me 1 over x. Differentiate of ln fx will give me f prime x over fx. Okay, because it's 1 over fx times f prime x. Okay, so in other words, for integration, okay, integration of f prime x over fx dx okay, will give me ln fx. Okay, but take note, okay, because of the ln properties okay your ln x your x cannot be negative so we need to add a modulus to make sure that my fx is always positive okay plus c okay so remember to include the modulus unless of course fx is always positive then we don't have to include the modulus okay but if you're not too sure when exactly is it always positive etc okay my recommendation will be just always include your modulus okay so i'm going to run back to try some examples okay i'm going to just keep the example space here we're going to look, go straight to the question here. Okay, so you will realize that uh, the first one is actually in the format of f prime x over fx. So your fx here will be x squared plus 8. So same logic, we're going to try to find my f prime x, which is 2x. So you realize that <coughs> your numerator already have an x, you are actually missing a 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a half so that I have 2x on top. Okay, essentially you give me half ln bracket modulus x squared plus 8 okay, plus c of course x squared plus a is always positive so even if you leave it in this format okay you are correct as well without the modulus okay because x squared plus 8 is always positive okay the next formula we'll be learning we'll be using is the exponential formula so let's look at part 2 over here okay part 2 same logic we're going to figure out what's my fx and what's my f prime x so e to the power of fx Okay, take note this e to the power 3 minus 1 third x. Okay, uh, the formatting is a little bit uh, funny, uh, but take note it's a 3 minus 1 to the power 3x is the, your indices of exponential. Okay, so you need to know that your fx over here is equal to 3 minus 1 over 3x. Okay, so your f prime x over here will be negative 1 over 3. Okay, so you need a negative 1 over 3 in front. So to do that, okay, let me just quickly write out the question first. Okay, I need a negative 1 over 3 in front. So to have a negative 1 over 3, I need to introduce a negative 3 in front. Check that I can have a negative 1 over 3, e to the power minus 1 third x. Sorry, 3 minus 1 third x. Okay, so I will have in the format of f prime x, e to the power fx. Okay, so this will essentially give me minus 3 remains, e to the power of 3 minus 1 over 3x plus c. Okay, I know that you have learned some similar formula in secondary school, uh, but likewise, we will be more comfortable in using f prime x e to the power fx. So every time you see exponential in your integration, the first thing I will do is I will try to find the f prime x using the fx and see whether I can manipulate my equation such that I can use the formula. Okay, so we're going to jump straight to the next page. Okay, so I'm going to write down the answers over here. Okay, so... Likewise, the, the answers here are just using the two uh, formulas that we have familiarized with self in the first part of this video. Okay, take note, a hint for you is part G, do expand first. Okay, expand out using your indices rule that you remember. Okay, then after that, go ahead and integrate individual term of them. Okay, same thing, please pause the video right after this. Uh, I will write down the answers over here so you can take a look at the answers. Okay, however, please do try yourself first. Then take a look at the answer. Okay, if you can't get the answer, same thing, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we'll discuss the answer according to where did you go wrong, etc. Okay, so for f here, okay, will be negative 1 over 5, e to the power 4 minus 5x plus c. 
Okay, for G, the answer will then be negative 1 over 3 e minus 3x minus half e minus 2x plus e minus x plus c. Okay, then h here will then be negative half ln modulus 5 minus x squared plus c. Okay, so three answers here. Hopefully, you can get the answer without any help. Okay, and if you are done with that, okay, go ahead and try the example here. Okay, same thing likewise, pause the video and go ahead and try it. Okay. Okay, for part one, shouldn't be a problem. Okay, part one answer will then be over here. Let me see. Okay. Okay, part two is something that I want to go through with you. Okay, because a lot of students will essentially give me this answer. Okay, take note the wrong answer. Okay, is this. Okay, a lot of students will tend to give me this answer. Okay, if you didn't get this answer, good for you. Okay, but this is a very common mistake. So what a lot of students will give me is this. Half ln square root 2x minus 8 plus c. If you get this answer, the reason why is because you take it as f prime x over fx. Okay, however, there's a square root. So you need to take into consideration of the square root. Okay, so the correct method is to use this formula. You bring up the square root such that you get square root 2. Okay, it's not square root, sorry. Okay, this will give me 2x minus 8 to the power of minus half. Okay, so instead of using f prime x formula, you should be using the first formula that we learned, which is f prime x fx to the power of n. Okay, this will give me fx to the power of n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. So this is the correct formula for you to use. Okay, if you don't get the correct answer, feel free to go and try. Okay, you should be able to derive the answer. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly uh, write the working next. Okay, so if you are ready, please pause the video, try the answer before you resume the video. Okay, so I need a half, I need a 2 in front here. So I have a half Okay, essentially it will give me half bracket 2x minus 8 to the power of half divided by half plus c. Okay. okay, if you are done, we are actually done with type 2 over here. We are going to move on to type 3 in the next video.